YouTube and welcome back to my channel today. Today's video is my all-time video to sit down and film for you guys and that is an empties video. So let me just jump in. I know that I recently uploaded one but that was filmed um, maybe like a month ago so I've gone through quite a few more empties and I'm really excited to share them with you and let you guys know my opinions and thoughts about them. So of course everything's in my empties bin and the first thing on top are two of my favorite products and they are Lush Shower Gels. One is the Lord of Misrule scent and the other one is the Prince Charming scent. So they look like this. Though they're both limited edition seasonal scents. You can pick them up around the holidays and the Lord of Misrule I picked up the day after Christmas and it was buy one get one free. So I think that's an awesome deal because these are normally $30 I want to say a piece. So the Lord of Misrule has an herbal blend of spicy black pepper and patchouli oil, while the Prince Charming has a fruity pomegranate vanilla wash. So I did enjoy both of them. I don't think I would repurchase either of them to use individually, but if I was mixing them with another body wash, then they both have potential to be repurchases. It's just that I got sick of both scents individually and then I mixed them together. It actually gave a really pretty color because it was purple, this is like a very dark green, and then this is like a bright pink. So I liked both of them, but my all time favorite one is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. So, um, Christmas season this year I'm going to pick up loads of them because they sell out extremely fast and then the one that I like to use year-round is the Happy Hippie which is the grapefruit scented one so um, I definitely love Lush products the company is amazing it fights animal testing and as you guys can see I have an animal and I just really like companies that um, that are about like you know helping the environment helping the earth helping the animals and i'm not trying to sound all crunchy granola but it's just something very near and dear kim and i are huge um animal lovers and we just love the fact that lush is more natural and it has um it doesn't have a lot of harmful or like harsh ingredients so enough about lush but i will definitely go ahead and repurchase lush sour gels between now and like the end of my lifetime because they are my favorite favorite shower gels of all time so moving on to another product, these are the Q-Tip brand cotton swabs. They look like this and um, I use cotton swabs for, you know, cleaning out my ears, which I know you're not supposed to do. I also use them to fix up my manicure if I paint outside the lines, which is every single time I paint my nails. And then I also use them to sometimes like clean up my makeup, smoke out my lower lash line if I can't find an appropriate brush to do so. But Q-Tip is not cruelty free and you guys know I've been transitioning for a very long time, like I, it's been years. And I finally found a Q-Tip um, cotton swab like alternative which is the Swiss Burst brand. I buy the organic ones and they're like in a green and white packaging. I love them. I think I love them more than these ones. So I will definitely go ahead and purchase Swiss Burst products because Swiss Burst is cruelty free. And then I have these Pacifica Cocoa Pure Makeup Removing Wipes. So there's 10 in each pack. I picked up a four pack of the travel size at Target when they were on sale a while ago. And the first two packages, I was using um, more heavy coverage foundation and I felt like the um, actual towelettes weren't saturated. I didn't feel like they did a great job of removing my makeup. But recently I've been going for a lighter, more, um, not sheer, but like a light to medium coverage foundation. And I've been using Studio Water Weight by MAC. And I think this product removes that makeup really well. So I use a completely separate um, product to remove my eye makeup because I wear some heavy duty eye makeup. Plus I um, normally use false lashes. So I need something that's gentle enough to take off the lash glue as well. But I would definitely go ahead and look into buying more Pacifica makeup removing wipes. I tried some other ones in the past that I've enjoyed. Um, but there's a, one more from the Pacifica like makeup removing line that I want to try. I just forget what. I think they're just like the traditional makeup removing wipes. Um, I will say the towelettes are very thin and they're not completely saturated, but they get the job done. The, uh, this product is the one that I use to remove my eye makeup re um, at the end of the night. And this is the Chanel, um, just like the Bi Phase makeup remover. So I. I don't know if you can tell it's like a little tiny bit of the blue solution and this stuff is amazing now um, you just shake it up a little and then I pour it onto a bamboo um, 
what are they called? I recently purchased these on Etsy and they are um, organic bamboo flannel cotton squares and they are by Marley's Monsters and you can just like um, put that on Etsy and like search for her but they're amazing. This stuff does a fantastic job of removing my eye makeup. I like this um, just as well as I like the Sonia Kashuk one which is cruelty free unfortunately Chanel isn't cruelty free but I do get this as gratis from work so um I I really do like this but if you are a very strict cruelty free person and um like you're only going to buy cruelty free makeup then I would definitely suggest the Sonia Kashuk one you guys know my deal behind the cruelty free how I'm doing like my skincare and my body care and stuff but just not my makeup for work purposes so um but and I already have another bottle of this and then I have a bunch of hair and then some makeup so let's get the big products out of the way this is the Argon Magic Ultra Hydrating Conditioner for dry damaged hair and I picked this up at TJ Maxx for $10.99 so it looks like this it is 32 fluid ounces I really like this stuff the ultra hydrating one is amazing I think it does a great job at conditioning my hair without making it like heavy or weighing it down or making it like excessively oily up at my roots so I I am using another Argon Magic I don't remember exactly which conditioner it is um, but this one is definitely like more moisturizing on the two so I'd highly recommend this and I'm definitely going to go ahead and repurchase this and then another hair care product is the Healthy Sexy Hair um, Soy Renewal Beach Spray. I just want to let you guys know that Argon Magic is cruelty free. So go ahead and indulge because the products are really affordable and they're really good quality. So this was just a texturizing spray. It was supposed to give you like that beachy waves look. It looks like this. Um, I actually like the way this performed in my hair, but beach spray is a beach spray and I always go back and forth like I really want to find out whether or not healthy sexy hair is cruelty free their website says that they are but I've read a lot of other bloggers and websites that say that there isn't enough information supporting that they actually are besides like their own word which you think you'd be able to trust the company's own word like through their PR people but um, I picked this up at TJ Maxx for $7.99 but I have other beach sprays I just picked up a small size of the not your mother's like texturizing beach spray which I'm excited to try out and then a little while ago I bought my sister the Josie Moran um, texturizing beach spray from Sephora and I mean if I need to borrow it from her I'm sure she won't mind another healthy sexy hair product is the Soya Want Flat Hair and it's a hot iron hair spray so it looks like this. I picked this up at TJ Maxx for $5.99 and I didn't really use this before I flat ironed because I don't necessarily flat iron my hair very often. Um, I just normally blow dry it and then when I blow dry it, it's pretty straight on its own. I actually used this before I curled my hair with my Numi curling wands because it is a heat protectant and then also I would spray this in my hair when I was like before I would go in and blow dry it and then sometimes I would actually just use it to hold my curls because it almost had like a hairspray feel like in texture so I would use this be like before I curled my hair and then a little light like spritz of it after and it would just hold my curls without making them super crunchy or anything but I'm not going to go ahead and repurchase this either because right now I am using a Argon Magic hairspray and it is fantastic hands down I'd have to say like one of the top three best hairsprays I've ever used in my entire life and then some more makeup removing towelettes are the Alba Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Clean Towelettes and they have the pineapple enzyme in them. There were 30 in here and I want to say that my Aunt Maureen gave these to me a while ago. I've used these in the past and the pineapple kind of burned my eyes like and my eyes aren't very sensitive but this time around it didn't so I wouldn't be opposed to repurchasing these. It's just that right now, the ones that I'm using, I've really been enjoying. So I haven't felt the need to go and repurchase new ones. But you guys know I always like to switch up like my makeup and my skincare routine. So there's a good possibility that I will purchase Alba Botanica products in the future. They are cruelty free and they all smell amazing. Like super, super amazing. So 
Um, I have some cotton rounds, and these are the Up and Up, which is the Target brand, and they're just the 100 count of basic basic cotton rounds. Um, I used to be obsessed with cotton rounds. It was the only way I would take off my eye makeup. And now that I have purchased the reusable ones from Etsy, like on Etsy from Marley's Monsters, I really don't feel the need to go buy these again. Um, if I did, I would buy the Swiss Burs brand because they are cruelty free and Target isn't. And I think I might buy them for traveling purposes, but for the most part when I'm at home, I've been using the organic like bamboo cotton squares and I love them. Like they do such a good job and I just feel like it's, I'm doing my like little part of helping the environment. And then I have some lashes. These are the Ardell 110 style and they're just like very light, very natural, but I usually double stack these with a more dramatic lash for work. And then I also um, used up the Vegas Nay Eyler Grand Glamour ones. These, the lash bin was so thick. I've had these for a while now. I originally used these for the first time on my birthday, which was at the end of February. But the lash bin is really uncomfortable. So I won't go ahead and repurchase these. Um, because, you know, honestly, I just like the Ardell ones. Like, there's so many different styles of Ardell. Like, the double stacks are amazing. And the Demi Wispies, of course, is like everyone's, like, holy grail here on YouTube. So, I've tried I learned lashes in the past. And, like, I do like them, but I definitely like Ardell more. And then I have a Fiori nose strip and then a face strip. So, um, I used one of each the other day. Kimberly and I were just kind of having like a girls day um, over this past weekend and we actually um, did this mask which is the Balia oil removing mud face mask and it has tree tea, tree tea oil so I just cut it in half so we could both have half of it and this is actually a product that L S here on YouTube sent me in our swap so I did like this I felt like it really did like you know suck out the like or detox my face when I was using this and like helped my skin the appearance looked really great after I washed it off and then afterwards I went in with a nose strip and then I used the face strip like on my chin area and I just really like the way these work I like looking at the strip afterwards I know that's gross but I just get to see everything that's like removed from my skin and my pores so um Biore is not cruelty free so once I use up the box that I own I know there's other brands that do have like um what are they called like deep cleansing pore strips so I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of reading and research but um I really like the way these work and I like doing them on days that I mask which isn't too often because I'm kind of lazy when it comes to like my skincare routine but when I do use them, I definitely notice a difference in my skin's appearance. And then I have a toothpaste. This is my favorite toothpaste. It is the Nature's Gay Natural Toothpaste in Creme de Mint. And it looks like this. Um, I normally pick this up either at Whole Foods, well, if, I do, or if I'm doing my grocery shopping there, or if I've completely run out, I will order it on drugstore.com because they sell this brand as well. And I just love this toothpaste. It does a great job of cleaning my teeth. Um, it's sulfate free and it uh, is fluoride free and I do feel like it whitens my teeth but there's no harsh chemicals so I really like this I will mention though that natural toothpaste doesn't have the artificial flavor so it definitely is more of an acquired taste but now that I've um, switch to this exclusively for the most part the uh, whenever I go back to a regular toothpaste like I have a couple travel size that I have in my travel bag and then my military one is not cruelty free and it's just such a difference when you brush your teeth because it, it tastes so fake and like artificial sugary so and then I have one more hair care product and then I believe the rest is makeup so this is the Hask Argan oil from Morocco repairing shine hair oil really enjoyed this stuff um right now i am using a paul mitchell our poopy and ginger hair oil which i've been really loving as well but honestly i haven't noticed a huge difference from switching over like in between hair oils so this one i want to say is like 5.99 at ulta 
and usually you can buy Haskab buy one get one half off type of deal so highly recommend checking this out this is two fluid ounces and I believe the Paul Mitchell one is like 3.4 fluid ounces but I just really like Paul Mitchell products and I really like Hass products um, they are super affordable and I did like this so I will probably go ahead and repurchase this in the future and now moving on to makeup the first thing is my NARS casino bronzer um, it looks like this I know it's so wonky the packaging and it is completely gone I really enjoy this bronzer it's one of my favorite bronzers as you guys know NARS is one of my favorite brands when it comes to higher-end makeup I just really enjoyed using this I normally use most of my bronzing products with the Chanel number no. two powder contour brush it's just perfect for like contouring or bronzing up your face without um, it actually just helps blend in the product really well without like having to do too much you know our mark so I will definitely go ahead and repurchase this in the future I am working on a couple bronzers right now and this is a more deep shade so um, I'm fairly tan right now but then come during the fall and the winter time I get very like light again so when my tan fades so this is something I will like pretty much only use during the summertime and right now I am using the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster and it, like I mean I feel like it's working just as well it's just that I really really like NARS products and then I used a, a little primer this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector so it looks like this and I did cut this open to scrape out what was on the inside originally I did not like this um I would apply this and then I would apply my foundation and my foundation never like would blend in it looked just awful every single time and then I realized that you like in order to use this you either have to and I know this isn't going to sound very well you need to skip your skincare routine in the morning or you need to wait a very long time after applying your skincare and then putting on this primer so on days that I sorry the my windows open and I live right by the train as you can tell so just say hi to everyone you know taking the train into Boston right now uh, so on days that I didn't use any skincare and I would use this and like just pat this into my oily spots and then I would wait maybe like a minute or two and apply my foundation this stuff really did help but it's almost too much maintenance for me and the primer um, that I really enjoy that is mattifying as well as the makeup forever step one mattifying primer I think this works just as well and you don't have like you can still use your skincare routine and this doesn't affect it so I will not go ahead and purchase the full size um, the other couple products um, I have the Chanel Beauty Sills, which is the mascara primer. This one's a bit wonky. Uh, I really enjoy using this. Whenever I don't wear false lashes, I will use this, and it just really helps, like, intensify my lashes. It makes them almost look like I'm wearing false lashes. Um, it's not difficult to get off. So, um, I already have another one. One of my really, really good friends is the Chanel manager. So, I do get a decent or like a substantial amount of Chanel gratis. So, she already gave me another one of these. I really enjoy using this. Um, mascara primers are not like life or death for me, but I do notice a huge difference when I do use them on days that I'm not wearing false lashes. And then another, um, Chanel product is the Inimitable Intense Mascara, which is like one of the two top selling mascaras at Chanel. It is a plastic bristle brush. It is very, um, it reminds me of the MAC in Extreme Dimension, the benefit they're real, but the bristles on this brush, it, they're so much softer. So if you accidentally poke your like lash line when you're applying this mascara your eyes don't immediately start watering I really like the way this performs it's probably one of my top five favorite mascaras that I've ever tried it works extremely well with the Beautisil's lash primer so um, this is another product that 
Lena gave me another gratis of, so I already have another one. And then the mascara that I'm currently working on is the Chanel, the Volume de Chanel, and then a NARS one and a MAC one. Um, so I have a lot of mascaras. That's one good thing about working at Nordstrom is you get a lot of gratis from um, many of the makeup counters. And then this is the MAC Prep and Prime um, highlighting pen in a light boost. You guys know the deal. You just twist it up. You guys also know, I can't even do a swatch. It's like such a light swatch because there's nothing left. But you guys also know this is one of my favorite like under eye highlighting correcting products. Now, um, normally I will do concealer and then this on days that I don't have a ton of time to get ready in the morning. I will sometimes just use this because I am fortunate enough not to have super dark under eyes. So this can conceal and correct at the same time and like highlight and brighten. So I will definitely go ahead and repurchase this. I've been repurchasing this literally since the first time I ever purchased this product because it is one of my all time favorite products from MAC. And then I will um, give this to someone I know to back to Mac because as a Mac employee we can't but I mean um like I have friends that can back to Mac so to set that aside and then this is another Mac product this was a sad day this is my angel lipstick and I scraped everything out of here it is one of my favorites um if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that MAC Cream Cup, which is a cream sheen formulation, is my all-time favorite, like, baby pink to wear. And Angel is almost identical. It's just a different finish. This is a frost finish. It's really not even that frosty. So, I really like this shade. I will definitely, in the future, repurchase this. Like, I'm 98% positive. Um, I do have to purchase... A baby pink shade because I I don't think I own one from Mac anymore because I those are the ones that I always reach for as you guys can tell like I normally wear a like a nudishy pinkish shade on my lips which I will tell you what the lip combination I'm wearing right now it is the uh, mineralized rich lipstick and this is from the future matte collection it is called meta fabulous and i want to i checked last night and it's still available on nordstrom's website but it's just as you guys can tell i mix this a lot because it's very light but it's just a peachy like peachy it's not a peachy nude it's almost just like a light peach and then i layered that down first um, with etc. Pro Longwear Lip Liner, and then I put Max Snob, which is a satin finish, which is a blue toned pink on top, and that's what like dulled down like this pink because this is a very blue toned and it's very bold. Um, and then I used Hover Lip Liner to just outline my lips one more time. I know that's like four lip products for this lip combination, but. I guess, um, I mean, I don't really think of it as work because I enjoy mixing lip combinations and seeing the, like, finished results. So, this is the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Auburn, and I'm just chucking this because my hair is dark. I've had this for a while. This did, like, this served me very well when I had red hair. It also worked pretty well when I had my deep purple hair, but now that I have, like, my dark brown hair, this doesn't match so I'm not going to save it and it separated a little bit and I mean I've had it for over a year um, so I think it's time for me to let this go. I will definitely um, repurchase Anastasia brow gels in the future. It's just that right now I am currently using the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in the shade Brownie Brows number two and I love love this stuff this is probably my favorite eyebrow mascara I have ever used like number one the brush is so perfect for like filling in your brows without making like it get really messy and sloppy because the Anastasia brow um like brush is so big and it's like why is it this big? Like, I don't understand why it's this big. So, um, 
I really like the Essence one. It's like, I'd have to say it's, it's probably my favorite eyebrow mascara I've ever used, so, or like brow mascara, <laughs> so. Really been enjoying this, plus this is a cool tone shade, so it worked really well even when I was using up the rest of my Anastasia um, pomade in Auburn. This just helped like neutralize it. And then I have two little samples of the Beauty Blender. One is the liquid um, cleanser and one is the solid cleanser. I received these as gratis at work. Um, the Beauty Blender rep had come in a little while ago and she gave us the a full size, like original Beauty Blender. She also gave us one of the micro Beauty Blenders to try out. Um, she gave us deluxe size samples of the solid and the liquid. And then also the um, Blotterazzi, which I actually use. Um, to set my under eye area it does like a fantastic job for that because it's flat and it's tapered so it like does a great job of like of being able to like place the um loose powder underneath my eyes to set my eye makeup i really like the beauty blender cleansers i just um i normally use dr bronner's and i think it works just as well but I mean, depending on how much that costs, I would potentially look into purchasing the full size. And then I have a NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. This is in the shade Via Veneto. And this was just like a twist up black eyeliner. This stuff is amazing. It's one of the best black eyeliners that I've ever used in my waterline that didn't transfer, it didn't smudge, it just stayed where it was supposed to the entire day. So I will definitely look into purchasing the full size of this. Um, this and the Marc Jacobs High Liner Gel like, Eyeliner Crayon are the pretty much like the only two eyeliners that have stayed in my waterline. So I, um, I'll probably go ahead and repurchase one of the two. I just don't know which one yet. So we shall see. You will see something like that in a future haul. And then I'm getting rid of two um, tools. One is a Sephora, just individual pencil sharpener. It's just getting wonky. And then this keeps falling off. So I'm just going to let this one go because I already went ahead and repurchased another one from Sephora. I just keep this in my little um, lip bag that has like my lip products that I wear on a reg regular basis. And then the last product is a L Small Stipple Brush and it just, it fell off when I was cleaning it. So I was like, I'm just not even gonna bother trying to um, like use this because I'm afraid the water's going to get in this part and then like make the bristles all nasty. So that is it. Um, I have a ton more of these e.l.f. stipple brushes in my, like, like down in the area where I keep all of my clean makeup brushes, so I don't need to repurchase these, but the e.l.f. brushes from the studio line in all the black packaging, absolutely fantastic, fantastic quality for the price. So these are only $3, and I've probably had this one for, like, a year or two years. So it served me very well, and I use it underneath to blend out my concealer or to stipple on like highlight on my cheekbones like a cream highlight so that is it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i actually am pretty positive i will be filming another video this week um i really want you guys to let me know if you would rather see a traditional project 10 pan if you want to see the seven summer flings i know that someone suggested a finish 13 by halloween so let me know in the um, comments below which product uh, pro project you guys want uh, me to film next. I know the train is out of control today. It runs, I want to say, like every half an hour in both directions during the day. So um, I'm going to recycle all of these. Also, um, like, like or subscribe if you don't want to miss any videos. I actually have like enough products that are about to be empty to probably film another empties video for you guys in the next week or two that's how crazy i have been going through and just using stuff up but on a good note i haven't been repurchasing a ton of things for no particular reason so i feel like i've 
gotten my like hoarding like my beauty hoarding under control i don't know we'll see also want to mention um i did my nails myself i just painted them and then like nail glued these little hello kitty and chanel things on them but um i was peeling off the gel like manicure that i had and i realized i just needed to stick to regular polish for a little bit and i thought these were cute and I don't know it just gave me something to do the other day because I was bored and I was just re-watching Game of Thrones so that is it for me I actually have to um, take Olivia and Sebastian out then I have to work later on this afternoon so I am super glad that you guys came and you know hung out with me and watched this video I know it's probably long like all my videos are but I just really like chatting with you guys and I really enjoy filming so that is it for me I hope you guys had a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video bye